You know, web development patterns have been changing rapidly. Due to increasing use of internet, the web development industry is evolving with every passing year. With faster internet speed and emergence of smartphones, the demand for feature-rich websites and mobile apps are growing. New website technologies are being discovered regularly in order to keep the websites and apps on top in user experience. Both web developers and companies should stay up to date on the recent development and trends in this field. So where is web development heading now? What are the most recent web development trends you should watch out for? And if you want to be updated, please stay tuned till the end of the video. And if I'm missing any trends, please do suggest in the comment section. Also hit the like and subscribe button if you find it helpful. Hello and welcome to Career Ride. I'm Nishant and let's start now. And the first one is blockchain technology. A blockchain is going to be a great tool for web development in future. Because blockchain is decentralized. It is less susceptible to attacks or errors. It enables internet users to transact without third-party interference. It makes transactions more secure and reliable because it uses consensus algorithms that make hacking very difficult. You know, Bitcoin digital currency are working on blockchain technology. Big companies like Barclay, Walmart, Amazon, Microsoft have already adopted blockchain technology and many more are likely to follow them. Next one is progressive web apps. That is PWA. Yes, PWA technology makes a website look and behaves just like a mobile app, but it can be accessed through a browser and you don't have to visit an app store to download it. It works on any device with normal browser. It offers a high quality user experience and has comparatively low development cost. Well, PWA also offers features like push notifications and offline access to cache content. Well, the technology has gained popularity because it offers high quality user experience. You don't have to develop native apps for multiple mobile operating systems. So this technology will have great worth in future as well. Next one is Jamstack. Jamstack is an architectural approach for building websites where Jam stands for JavaScript, API and Markup. Here all markup and assets are pre-built. So websites are served as static HTML files. As a result, the website can easily be served via CDN and this provide better performance and easier scalability. With the Jamstack architecture, no need to worry about server or database vulnerabilities. You don't have to maintain an inbuilt server and a database. The server size processes are handled by third party services using APIs and the web server has to serve static files only. No need to manage complicated database servers, plugins or dependencies. And this allows read only hosting and thus reduces vulnerabilities. Hosting is also less expensive since hosting of static files is cheap or sometimes even free. And all these great features help create simpler, faster and cheaper websites, making Jamstack architecture adopted by many companies. And the next one is headless CMS architecture. You know, a traditional CMS includes both front-end as well as back-end parts, whereas headless CMS doesn't include a presentation layer at all. It is a back-end only content management system. And the main job of headless CMS is to store and manage your content. It doesn't really care how you want to present that content. The headless CMS communicates with front-end systems using APIs. Since it doesn't have to deal with content rendering part, the headless CMS offers fast editing experiences. It also offers better security since the content is separated from the presentation layer. And in this architecture, the developers can choose their own front-end language for the presentation layer. They can also switch from one framework to another without affecting the backend. And because of this flexibility, the demand for headless CMS architecture is growing and we will witness many companies using this architecture in future as well. Now the next one is server-side rendering. Before understanding server-side rendering, let's focus on client-side rendering first. A client-side rendering means that a website is rendered in your browser. Whenever we use JavaScript framework, the default is client-side rendering, where the JavaScript fetches and assembles the content in your browser. Since the rendering has been done on the client, the burden is fully on the client 
that increases the load time of a page. Client-side rendering has also its adverse impact on search engine. They actually crawl and index the HTML of a page first and then come back to render the JavaScript. And apart from Google, there are many search engines that are worst at rendering JavaScript. And this is why server-side rendering is getting popular. Yes, server-side rendering means that our website is rendered on the website server. Both search engine and users get a faster page experience. Search engine bots get the fully rendered page so they can crawl and index the HTML page easily. All right, so the next one is Django. Django is a backend server-side Python-based web framework. It is written in Python and is free and open source. Django is getting famous because it is because it makes it easier to build web pages. It offers ready-made components to use and that too for rapid development. Developers can easily create complex and feature-rich web applications. And as a result, it is quite popular. And the next one is serverless architecture. Serverless architecture runs on cloud technology. It allows developers to create and support software with zero administration. You don't have to manage or upgrade servers. There are many companies providing serverless architecture such as Amazon, Google, Microsoft, etc. And these services are gaining popularity since many businesses are switching to serverless software because they don't want to invest in IT infrastructure. And as a result, serverless architecture is trending now. So these are most recent web development trends. Hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And if you want more videos of this kind, do subscribe for more.